Hello Palma, how's everybody doing? I hope this video finds you and your loved ones and your family as well. I just want to take a, a quick quick minute to uh, reflect on the gospel reading for Thursday for today. And that is from John chapter 3 verses 31 to 36. And I just want to comment on a couple lines for us here as they may be pertinent to our current situation that we are experiencing here. The opening line of this passage says, The one who comes from above is above all. And I think there's some comfort knowing that there is something greater out there for us. There is something greater than the situation and all the crises that we are we're experiencing in the world at this very moment. This passage continues to talk about who this one is, of course, this is referring to Christ. But there is a closing, one of the closing lines says, whoever believes in the Son, the Son of God, will have eternal life. And I think that's comforting to know also that at the end there's a promise, at the end of the crossing the finish line there's a goal. There, there is something there. There's something to be achieved. There's a prize. And that is, of course, a, a Christian's lifetime goal, lifelong goal, is that eternal life. For us, I think, as a society right now, we can look at the, this passage saying that there is a goal. There is something across this finish line with this coronavirus crisis. This too shall pass, and there, will, there is light at the end of the tunnel. And, we have to, and, faith will, and faith will get us there. The passage that, this passage from John also messaged that he, that he, the one from above, does not ration. Instead, he, is, he gives the gift of the Spirit in, in bounty, in, in great abundance. And those gifts of the Holy Spirit, uh, for us, for, uh, for Catholics, talk about fortitude and courage. And those, are, and those are certain skills, I think, skills and traits that we need at this time. Courage, fortitude, but patience as well as we make it through this time. So I want you. I would like you to reflect on this notion that in this passage Jesus communicates the Spirit to us and without reserve. Think about: Have you had any experience of the Spirit in your life? And if not, how might you have an experience this life in your life during this time? So let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord our God. Your Son, Jesus Christ, came before you and bore witness to the things he has heard and seen. He could not but bear witness to you. Give us the Spirit of your Son, we pray, to speak your word and to live it, so that we may show Christ your living word to those who have not seen him. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. God bless you all. I hope you're all well. And I look forward to the day that we can uh, all be together again and soon. Take care.